Should you eat fat to lose weight? Good fats versus bad fats. To eat or not to eat. This is a report on saturated fat versus unsaturated fat. Are you living in 1977? In 1977, the Dietary Goals for American 1977 report proposed increases in carbohydrate intake and decreases in fat, saturated fat, cholesterol, and salt consumption was never proven to be true. The DGA3 report does not provide sufficient evidence to conclude that increases in whole grain and fiber decreases and decreases in dietary saturated fat, salt, and animal protein will lead to positive health outcomes of supporting evidence limits the value of the proposed recommendations and guidance for consumers or as the basis for public health policy. It's time to re-examine how U.S. dietary guidelines are created and ask whether the current process is still appropriate for your needs. Current research is negating the DGAC report. You know, when the low fat started, like in the 1939 or so, uh, it helped the world get fatter and sicker. If you look back and what's going on and we're having this epidemic of obesity around the world, it's when it was introduced to go with low fat and to give up the food that the humans have been eating for thousands of years. And they were wrong. Modern research has shown that the 1977 report was not backed by science and we are still being told to avoid saturated fat to reduce heart disease risk. Dr. Atkins was one of the first to show that fats help you lose weight and that low-fat, high-carbohydrates diets increase weight. If the low-fat diet were true, we would not have the current worldwide obesity epidemic. And here's a piece that came out in Time Magazine, cholesterol and now the good news. Eggs are okay, margarine's not. The new science of eating right and that's what the processed food industry did to us by removing butter and replacing it with margarine which was basically made up of trans fat which is the worst kind of fat you could put in your body now what is cholesterol lipoproteins are proteins that carry cholesterol around the body these lipoproteins are called hdl and ldl the good and bad that carry cholesterols. There is only one type of cholesterol that is carried by the lipoproteins. So put that in mind. There's only one type of cholesterol and there's either HDL lipoprotein or LDL lipoprotein. Now we know that there are two types of DL, LDL. There's low density LDL. These are small lipoproteins that can penetrate the arterial wall easily which drives heart disease, and the second, which is large LDL. These lipoproteins are large and fluffy and don't easily penetrate the arteries. So reduce your risk of heart disease. You want to have mostly large LDL particles and as little of the small ones as possible. What about fat? Eating saturated fat changes the LDL particles from small, dense to large. Now remember, the LDL is the bad uh, uh, cholesterol. Low carb diets, which tend to be high in saturated fat, can lower LDL proto lipoproteins, while low fat diets have an adverse effect and raise the LDL. Saturated fats reach HDL, the good cholesterol, and change LDL from small dense to bad to large LDL, which is mostly benign. Overall, saturated fats do not harm the blood lipid profile like previously believed. And this is the reason why you were told to avoid carbohydrates, uh, uh, corn oil, and uh, soybean oil, beer. All those carbohydrates, the minute they enter your body, they get turned into fat, the bad fat. If you eat avocados, chicken, uh, lean beef, coconut oil, olive oil. These are good fats that help your body uh, maintain its health. What is heart disease? 
Current research is showing that there really is no link between saturated fat consumption and heart disease. The biggest and best studies on saturated fat and heart disease show that there's no direct link. It was a myth all along. Just like the myth that uh, butter was bad and margarine was good. You know, we were told to give up butter, real butter, and replace it with a processed manufactured food called margarine which is full of trans fat and has been greatly discredited. Unfortunately, the government and mainstream health organizations seem reluctant to change their minds and continue to promote the old low-fat dogma. The link between saturated fat and heart disease has been studied intensely for decades, but the biggest and best studies show that there is no statistically significant association. Heart condition. The results of most studies are based on averages. The studies clearly show that on average, saturated fat does not raise the risk of heart disease. Let me repeat that. Saturated fat does not raise the risk of heart disease. Individuals with a genetic disorder called familial hypercholesterolemia, as well as people who have a genetic variant called APOE4 suffer from uh, increased cholesterol. With time, the science of genetics will mostly surely discover more ways in which diet effects are in the risk for heart disease. Fats to avoid, absolutely. If you paid nothing to attention to anything else in this uh, presentation, trans fats are to be avoided. All artificial fats that are very bad are very bad for us. Studies show that trans fat lead to insulin resistance, inflammation, body fat accumulation, and drastically raise the risk of heart disease. Avoid omega-6 found in soybean and corn oils, as well as the processed foods that contain them. Yesterday, I was having a salad, and I just happened to look over and see what was in my salad dressing, and lo and behold, it was soybean. So now I know I have to get rid of that. And when you go shopping, look to see if there's soybean oil or corn oils in the food you're consuming. Americans consume too much omega-6. Bad typical diet, too much omega-6. And just a small percentage of omega-3. Good ideal diet, equal omega-3 and omega-6. And this is why every morning I take a fish oil supplement in the morning and I take one at night before I go to bed. Unproven fat myth. Humans have been eating saturated fat for thousands of years, but the heart disease epidemic started only recently due to processed foods. The takeaway should be to eat natural foods and avoid all processed foods. Eat vegetables, fish, nuts, olive oil, and foods with natural finger-like uh, foods like uh, fiber, like oatmeal and flaxseed. Best foods for the heart, salmon, avocado, olive oil, nuts, berries, legumes, spinach, oatmeal, flaxseed. Get plenty of fiber and consume fibrous vegetables. You can help yourself. Healthy people can effectively reduce risk of coronary disease by walking 22 minutes a day, minimizing stress and eating real food. Research is recommending low-dose aspirin to reduce risk of heart attacks and strokes while increasing your chances of surviving them. Now it's being reported that aspirin can reduce some forms of cancer. Speak with your doctor before starting any diet or aspirin regimen. Experts recommend being active for uh, 30 minutes a day on 5 or more days a week. Walking can easily uh, incorporate into your day with a walk to work, walk home, or walk during the day. When you are regularly walking, you can reduce your risk of developing heart disease and stroke, help prevent heart pre blood pressure, help control weight, reduce stress, maintain good physical and mental health. The good news is that 30 minutes can make up for short activities of 10 to 15 minutes making walking an ideal way to hit the target. Now, 
I do 30 minutes on a treadmill every morning, seven days a week. And it has proven extremely beneficial to me. And I want you to understand that you have to create the habit of walking 30 minutes a day, be it on a treadmill, being outside, riding a bike, going dancing, do some physical activity at least 30 minutes every day to increase and help yourself. Please take advantage of our wonderful e-course packages available for media download at joanbars.com. Also, we have some wonderful weight loss packages on our uh, Saturday Morning Diet website, which uh, will help you with your struggles against uh, obesity and health issues. We offer the Mindfulness for Weight Loss and the Hyperdetic Diet for immediate download. We also offer uh, three weight loss e-course packages, bronze, silver, and gold, to match anyone's pocket. Make sure to get your copy today, immediate download.